Wrestling fans and welcome to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the great American bash making its way to the city of brotherly love. The opening contest this evening will be the NWA United States Tag Team Championship as the fabulous Freebirds of Michael P.S. Hayes and Jimmy Jam Garvin take on the challenge of Rick and Scott Steiner, the Steiner Brothers. And that match will be a Texas Tornado match. All four men in the ring at the same time. The first team to collect a pinfall will win. And this match has many implications on next week's pay-per-view in Baltimore at the Great American Bash pay-per-view. As the fabulous Freebirds are set to defend the United States Tag Team Championship against the Midnight Express. However, that match may be changed to the Steiners versus the Midnight Express if Rick and Scott have anything to say about that. Also on this card, you will see the United States Heavyweight Champion Lex Luger take on the challenge of Horseman member Barry Windham and our double main events of the evening. The Midnight Express versus the Rock and Roll Express in a steel cage. And the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Ricky Steamboat defends against Ric Flair in a steel cage. So a big night of wrestling here in Philadelphia. And we started off with the U.S. Tag Team Championship. And here they are making their way to the ring. Rick and Scott, the Steiner Brothers. And here they are making their way to the ring. The United States Tag Team Champions, Jimmy Jam and Michael P.S. Hayes, the fabulous Freebirds. And fans, all four men in the ring at the same time, I will do my best to call the action as it happens. And Rick Steiner going off against Jimmy Garvin. Scott Steiner and Michael Hayes going at it, and Jimmy Garvin takes Steiner up and over with an arm drag. And Rick Steiner fights back. Has Jimmy Garvin. Into the ropes, up and over the top rope goes Jimmy Garvin. And Rick Steiner falling him outside to the floor. The referee is he gonna count. He's not gonna begin to count. He's gonna focus on the action in the ring. Scott Steiner has a front face lock on Michael P.S. Hayes. And a Russian leg sweep. And Rick Steiner with a pile driver on Jimmy Garvin on the concrete floor. And Rick Steiner with a big chop across the chest. And Scott Steiner picking up Michael Hayes. And a beautiful suplex by Scott Steiner. And the Steiner brothers in full control. Rick throws Jimmy Garvin over the top and suplexes him back in. Michael Hayes fighting back and is now in control over Scott Steiner. And Rick Steiner has Jimmy Garvin up for a pile driver and nails him! And Rick Steiner gonna go for the cover! Could we have the US Tag Team Champions? And Michael Hayes breaks it up! 
And now a belly to belly suplex by Scott uh, by Rick Steiner. Steiner going for the pep. Two and a kick on a two by Jimmy Garvin. And now Michael Hayes working over Rick Steiner has him up for a suplex and Scott Steiner drop kicks him out of it. Wow, what a maneuver by Scott Steiner. Now Scott Steiner working on the neck of Michael Hayes and Jimmy Garvin working on the back of Rick Steiner. One of these two teams will face off against the Midnight Express next week in Baltimore for the US Tag Team Championship. And up and over goes Rick Steiner. And Jimmy Garvin breaks up the submission move by Scott. And now Michael Hayes and Jimmy Garvin trying to double team. Scott Steiner, who nails a belly to belly suplex on Michael P.S. Hayes. And now Rick Steiner has another pile driver on Jimmy Garvin. That's the second one in the match. Scott Steiner goes for the pin two and a kick out of two by Michael Hayes. These two teams faced off in Dallas at the Great American Bash before the Freebirds won the U.S. Tag Team titles and the Steiners were victorious. Can they beat the Freebirds when the titles are on the line? Belly to belly suplex. Steiner goes for the cover on Hayes. Two and a kick out of two by Hayes. Oh, the fast and furious action here in the NWA. And Scott Steiner picking him up for a suplex pile driver. And he nails Garvin with it. Scott Steiner going for the cover, but Michael Hayes breaks it up. Oh, man. The Steiners almost winning the U.S. Tag Team titles there. Now Rick Steiner picking up Jimmy Garvin for a butterfly suplex of his own. Scott Steiner working over Hayes. And now Rick Steiner throws Jimmy Garvin away, goes for the Bulldog off the top rope and nails him. Rick Steiner gonna go for the cover. Referee's down one, two, DT by Steiner. And the Steiner brothers win the U.S. Tag Team Championships. Oh man, what a contest this was. Here are some highlights. A beautiful belly to belly suplex by Scott Steiner. A belly belly by Rick Steiner on Michael Hayes. And here's that suplex pile driver by Scott Steiner nailing Jimmy Garvin with it. And Michael Hayes broke up the pinfall. And there was a beautiful suplex by Rick Steiner who nailed a bulldog of the second turnbuckle and got the pinfall on Jimmy Jam Garvin. Fans, your new United States Tag Team Champions, Rick and Scott, the Steiner brothers. Oh man, that's gonna be a glorious match next week in Baltimore, the Steiners versus the Midnight Express for the US Tag Team Championship. And we have much more action here in Philadelphia. Fans, we'll be right back after this quick timeout new United States Tag Team Champions. And fans, the next match here at the Great American Bash in Philadelphia will be a two on three handicap match. It will be the challengers Sting and Nikita Koloff as they go against Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson and their manager JJ Dillon. A lot of controversy surrounding the horsemen at this time. Back in New Orleans, JJ Dillon preventing Ric Flair from getting back into the ring. And that world title match has cost his trust of Ric Flair to go down. However, the remaining members of the Horsemen, Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson, and Barry Windham all insist on J.J. Dillon being in their corner. So when the NWA Board of Directors was putting this card together, they wanted to give Sting and Nikita a chance to get their hands on J.J. Dillon as he was causing interference and distracting referees all throughout the Great American Bash Tour. So a two or three handicap match was signed for Philadelphia tonight. And J.J. Dillon, of course, gets along great with Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard. So these three men taking on the challengers 
of the tag team titles, Arn Anderson, uh, excuse me, Sting and Nikita Koloff. Now, of course, the tag team titles are not on the line tonight, but you can imagine that the winner of this contest will have all the momentum heading to Baltimore next week on pay-per-view. And here they are making their way to the ring. Sting on the right, Nikita Koloff on the left. And these two men looking to get an advantage on the World Tag Team Champions. And speaking of the World Tag Team Champions, here they come. And there they are, fans, the World Tag Team Champions. Arn Anderson on the left, Tully Blanchard on the right. And J.J. Dillon not far behind in this two on three handicap match. So standard tag team match rules apply. Uh, it will be one on one in the ring. The only difference is Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard have J.J. Dillon as well. And we are set to go for this matchup. And fans, we are set to go here. It's going to be Sting starting out for his team against Arn Anderson starting out for his. And a kick to the midsection by Sting. And now a big right hand takes Anderson down. And Sting calls out to the fans here in Philly. And they respond back. A big elbow by Sting. A kick to the midsection has Arn Anderson up. And a power bomb up and down. And Sting going for the cover, trying to make short work. And Anderson kicks out at one. And now Sting working the neck of Arn Anderson. And throws him down. Sting backs up and drops an elbow across the throat of Arn Anderson. Goes for the cover again. Referee's down one and a kick out at one. And a double axe handle to the head of Anderson, who's since reeling. Sting picks up Anderson. And whips him hard into the turnbuckle. And Anderson goes down. Sting goes for the cover again on top one. Smart by the Stinger, being that it's a three on two handicap match. Whoops Anderson into the turnbuckle. Tags in Nikita. And now Sting. Whoops and Anderson. Picks him up. Oh, and the Vernon Tommy drop into a boot. Nikita nails Anderson with a boot. Goes for the cover. Referee's down one. Two and a kick out of two. And Nikita has Arn Anderson. Picks him up. And a beautiful bridge suplex into a pinfall, but Anderson made it to the ropes. And Nikita with a big clothesline takes Anderson down. Nikita preventing Anderson from making the tag. It's been all Sting and Nikita, belly to belly suplex. Nikita rolls him over, goes for the cover. Referee's down one, two, and a kick out of two. It has been all Sting and Nikita Koloff thus far in this contest. And now another beautiful bridge suplex by Nikita. This time he lets him out. And Nikita with a kick to the midsection. Has Anderson up, and he nails him with a brain buster. And Anderson's in trouble. Nikita picks up Arn Anderson. Big elbow to the back. Oh, and Anderson reverses it with an arm drag. And a kick to the midsection of his own and a high knee lift. Takes Nikita down. And now here comes Tully, tagged in. Oh, and Nikita reeling on Tully. Tully picks up Nikita. And a belly to back suplex up and over goes Nikita. Sting reaching for the tag. And he gets it. Here comes the Stinger. A kick to the midsection, but Anderson blows it off. Has Sting. It's not mere takeover. Sting didn't get all that kick. And now Anderson raking the eyes of Sting. Takes Sting down, working the leg now of the Stinger. 
And Tully very wisely put Sting in his corner. And Tully climbing the turnbuckle halfway across the ring and misses an elbow drop. I could have told you that. He was halfway across the ring. But fortunately for him, he gets up before Sting. And Sting is in a world of trouble. Here comes the butterfly underhook suplex by Tully Blanchard. And Sting is not moving. The kid are reaching out for a tag. Sting in trouble. Tully whips Sting up and over the top rope goes Sting. And Tully Blanchard is following him out to the concrete. Tully picks up Sting. Whips him into the guardrail. Whips him into the stairs. Oh, and Sting's in trouble. And the referee's counting and Sting throws Tully into the stairs. Stopping away now on Tully and Sting. Back in the ring. Rolling up this crowd. And Sting goes over to make a tag. And here comes Nikita. And he nails Tully with a thrust and sickle. Nikita goes for the cover. This could be it. One, two, and a kick out by Tully. Oh, man. Nikita hit Tully with a rust and sickle. Whoops Tully hard into the turnbuckles. Rolls Tully over. Goes for the cover. Referee's down one. And a kick out of one by Tully. And go for a slam. And Tully reverses it. Drops him back into a scorpion death drop. And now Tully setting off for a pile driver. And Nikita now with a pile driver, and he's in trouble. And Tully, instead of going for the cover, is gloating to the fans. And that's going to allow Nikita to try and make a tag. Oh, and he can't make it to Sting. He tried to make it to Sting, and Tully cut him off. Oh, and a slap by Tully Blanchard. Adding insult to injury and an elbow by Tully. And Nikita's in trouble. Now Tully choking Nikita. Oh, Nikita's in trouble. Another pile driver could be. Tully sets him up and nails him with it. Drops Nikita on his head. And Nikita wisely rolls out of the ring. Tully's following him. And Nikita with a punch and an elbow. Has a front face lock on Tully. Whoops him hard into the guardrail. Climbs into the ring. Is he going to make a tag to Sting? I said he's going to make a tag to Sting. Oh, he not Sting off the apron by accident. A spine buster by Nikita. And here comes the Stinger. Oh, and... Tully makes a tag to Arn. A knee by Sting on Arn Anderson. Picks up Tully, he's not working the neck. Now Sting, picking up Arn Anderson for a suplex and Anderson reverses it into a neck breaker. And Sting is in trouble. Anderson's oh go for a spine buster, but Sting reverses it into a DDT. Goes for the cover. One. And the rope break. Anderson makes it to the ropes. And Anderson's been busted open. Oh, I didn't see that. Anderson's been busted open. Sting whips Anderson hard into the ropes. And the big clothesline takes him down. And Sting shoulder blocks JJ to the car to the concrete floor. Sting going at your now at Tully Blanchard. And punches him to the floor. And a big knee in the corner. Sting rolls over Anderson. Goes for the cover. Referee's down one, two, and a kick out by Arn. Don't ask me how he did it. But Arn Anderson kicked out. Sting whips in Arn. Up and over the top rope goes Arn. And Sting has JJ. Picks him up for a body slam. 
And wait a second, Sting has JJ in the ring, but he's not the legal man. Sting's going for a Scorpion Deathlock on JJ Dillon, but he's not the legal man. And the referee forces Sting to let go of the move. Sting tags in Nikita. Anderson's being counted out. And JJ's not moving. Oh, and a big Russian single takes Anderson down. Nikita goes for the cover. Referee's down one, two, and a kick out of two. So both Tully and Arn have kicked out of the Russian sickle. A kick to the head. And Nikita staying on top. Whoops Anderson hard into the turnbuckle. Anderson's in a world of trouble. Whoops hard into his turnbuckle. And a big uppercut takes Anderson down. Anderson able to make the tag and here comes Tully. And he's taken down with a big clothesline. Oh, Nikita's in control here. Big right hand takes the uh, Tully down. And Tully whipped into their turnbuckle. Nikita tags in Sting. A double team maneuver. Drop to hold. And an elbow by Sting. Who's yelling to the fans here in Philly? Stopping the win now on Tully Blanchard. And a big right hand, a second right hand, and a third right hand takes Tully down. Sting climbing the second turnbuckle, and Anderson punches him off. Oh, and both men are down. But Sting able to make it to his feet first. Goes for the cover on Tully. Referee's down one and a kick out of one. And a DDT by Sting on Tully. Rolls over Tully, goes for the cover. Referee in position one, and a kick out of one. And Sting with a kick to the back. Sting with Tully hard into the turnbuckle. Another DDT, and now Tully's been busted open. Both members of the Horsemen have been busted open. Goes for the cover, oh, and JJ breaks it up. Nikita has JJ up with his shoulders, and a solo gut slam, and JJ's in trouble. Sting going for the cover again. Referee getting Nikita out of the ring. One, two, and a kick up by Tully. This match has been controlled by Sting and Nikita all throughout, and an elbow to the top of the head. Sting whoops in Tully. Up and down goes Tully. And Sting allows Tully to make a tag into JJ, who takes Sting down with a shoulder block and takes Sting down with a knee. Oh, and JJ. JJ getting control. Sting with a big right hand blocked by JJ. I can't believe it. JJ with a kick to the knee. JJ fighting Sting and handling himself quite well. And now JJ picks up Sting and a slap across the face. And let's see how Sting, wait a second. JJ has knuckles. The referee doesn't see it. And he now Sting with the knucks. He puts the knucks away. Are you kidding me? He nailed Sting with knucks and the referee didn't see it. JJ has Sting, rolls him over, goes for the cover. One, two, and a breakup by Nikita. Oh, man. JJ thrown up and over by Nikita. Sting's knocked out. Sting was going to get pinned if it wasn't for Nikita. I don't believe the referee didn't see the nuts. And Sting slowly getting back to his feet. JJ slides back into the ring. And now a knee by Sting. And Sting has JJ in the middle of the ring, going for the Scorpion, and he turns him over. And is JJ gonna give up? 
and JJ Taps. Oh man, your winners are Nikita Koloff and Sting. What a contest. JJ Dillon almost pinned Sting by using a pair of brass knucks. But it was Sting who got the Scorpion Deathlock on JJ Dillon to secure the victory for his team. And here are some highlights from earlier in the contest. And this has to give Sting and Nikita Koloff all the momentum heading into next week at the Great American Fashion Baltimore pay-per-view. And there's the brain buster by Nikita on Arn Anderson and a Russian sickle by Nikita that Tully kicked out of at two and three quarters. And J.J. Dillon having words at ringside with Tully and Arn, saying, don't worry, we still have the, well, you're right. You still have the tag team titles because it was a two on three handicap match. But those two men, Nikita Koloff and Sting looking for the gold next week at Baltimore fans. We have much more coming up. Our main event of the evening is Ricky the Dragon Steamboat versus Ric Flair for the world title inside of a cage. But before then, a little tag team cage action coming up as the Midnight Express takes on the Rock and Roll Express. Fans, don't go away. We'll be right back at this quick timeout. And fans, the following contest at the Great American Bash in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania will be for the United States Heavyweight Championship as the total package Lex Luger defends against former tag team partner and former tag team champion at that and former friend Barry Windham now a member of the Four Horsemen now Barry Windham has elected to have JJ Dillon at ringside in the last couple weeks here at the Great American Bash Tour there's been some divide amongst the horsemen over whether JJ Dillon should still be their manager or not after he stopped Ric Flair from getting back into the ring, causing a count-out loss in a world title match against Ricky Steamboat. So while Flair has refused J.J. Dillon's guidance in his matches ever since, the other horse members have allowed J.J. Dillon to be at ringside. And tonight, Barry Windham has the support of J.J. Dillon in this U.S. title match. And here he is making his way to the ring. J.J. Dillon right behind a member of the Horsemen from Sweetwater, Texas, Barry Windham. And the people here in Philadelphia on their feet. Some of them cheering, some of them booing. But many people here respect the talent that Barry Windham has. And let's see what kind of reaction this guy gets. The U.S. Heavyweight Champion. Fans rise. And there's that loud ovation from Philadelphia fans for the total package. Lex Luger. And this is a precursor to their match in Baltimore in just one week's time. One week and one day to be exact as the Great American Bash makes its way down to Baltimore, Maryland for the pay-per-view event. And Lex Luger defending the U.S. title tonight and next week against Barry Windham. Or, if Barry Windham's to win the title tonight, then that match next week in Baltimore will be a rematch for Lex Luger. And the introductions being made 
Wyndham's ready, Luger's ready. Referees call for the bell and away we go. And Luger starts off with a knee to the midsection. Another knee to the midsection and a knee left on Barry Wyndham. Whoops, Wyndham into the turnbuckle. And Luger picking up his former best friend and tag team partner, Sneak Eyes in the corner. Luger watch Wyndham across the ring. Oh, what a stalemate. These two know each other so well. Luger with a kick to the midsection, a big right hand, a second right hand, and the third takes Wyndham down. And JJ Dillon distracted the total package. And that is why Wyndham has decided to have JJ Dillon at ringside. And now Wyndham in control over Luger. Whoops him into the ropes and a big forearm, but Luger has blocked it. Does not block that arm drag by Barry Wyndham. And Luger goes down. Wyndham staying on top with a forearm to the back. Luger going for a right hand blocked by Wyndham. Wyndham now has Luger and a neck breaker down. And Luger is in trouble. Wyndham picks up Luger. Front face lock. Oh, and a body slam with his arm behind his back down on the arm. And Luger rolls out of the ring to avoid any further damage. Trying to collect his thoughts. And Luger gets back in while Wyndham goes out. Oh, and Wyndham with a bulldog catches Luger off guard. Wyndham drags Luger back to the center of the ring. Rolls him over, goes for the cover. This could be it. Referee's down one. And a kick out at one by Luger. Luger going for a right hand and blocked again by Wyndham, who has him draped over the top rope. And slingshots him back, and Luger's in a world of trouble. The U.S. title could be changing hands tonight. A big knee by Wyndham takes Luger down. Oh, and Luger moves Wyndham into the ropes. And a power slam up and over goes Wyndham. And Luger flaunting to the fans here in Philadelphia, who respond with a mix of cheers and boos. Oh, and a spear takes down Luger. Wyndham was playing coy. And now Wyndham back in control. Drops an elbow across the forehead of Luger. And if Luger's not careful, he's gonna lose that US title tonight. And Luger with a big forearm smash. Oh, and Luger responds with the right hand. Luger whips Wyndham into the ropes, follows up with a clothesline, takes Wyndham down. And Luger flexing for the fans here in Philadelphia. Picks up Wyndham. Front face lock by Luger, an abdominal stretch, and Barry Windham's in trouble. And Windham tries to fight out of it, and does. Hip toss, up and over goes Luger. Windham back in control. Now working the arm of Luger, slamming it down to the mat. And again, slamming it down to the mat. Beautiful, brilliant move on Barry Windham's part. If he has no arm strength, they can't put him up in that torture rack. And Windham! With a claw hold on Luger. Could we be having a new US champion? Luger trying to fight out of it. Can he fight out of it? Wyndham has the claw hold locked in. And Luger able to reverse it with a punch to the midsection. And a second punch breaks the hold. And a knee to the back of Wyndham. Takes Wyndham down. Luger whipping Wyndham hard into the turnbuckle on the ropes. Rebound. Stalemate. Luger backbreaker on Wyndham. Goes for the cover. Referee's down one. Gonna kick out at one. And now Luger working the head of Wyndham. Luger was in trouble with that claw hold. And ever since then, it's been Luger. Luger now working the back of Barry Wyndham. Softening them up for that, what has to be that torture rack. And an elbow to the head has Barry Wyndham in the corner. Luger picks up Wyndham. And a snake eyes drops him across the top turnbuckle. Luger whoops Wyndham into the ropes. Another power slam. And Luger's feeling it. And the fans here at Philly are feeling it too. Luger raises his arm. Has Wyndham up in the torture rack. Is Barry Wyndham going to quit? Luger has him in the torture rack. And Wyndham's fighting it for all he can. And wait a second, JJ Dillon up on the apron. 
Luger drops him. And JJ getting the attention of Luger. Allowing Wyndham to get back to his feet. Oh, and misses with a knee, but does not miss with the elbow. Luger whips Wyndham hard into the turnbuckle. Now working the lower back. Picks up Wyndham. Right hand, but missed. Wyndham with a kick to the stomach. Oh, and Luger with a big right hand. Another right hand, an elbow. Stuns Luger. Close line up and over the top rope goes Wyndham. And Wyndham being counted out here. And wait a second, the masked man. There's a masked man running to the ring. Luger turns around and nails him with the clothesline. The masked wrestler who attacked Dusty Rhodes and attacked Ricky Steamboat has now attacked Lex Luger. He picks up Luger. The referee calls for the battle disqualification. Picks Luger up in a pile driver and nails him. The referee calling for the battle on disqualification. Lex Luger will win by a disqualification. But the masked man who attacked Ricky Steamboat and Dusty Rhodes has now pile driven Lex Luger. All oh, fans, who is this masked man, and when will we find out? Oh, we have more action here in Philadelphia to this quick timeout. And fans, our co-main event of the evening will be a steel cage tag team match as the Midnight Express of Beautiful Bobby and Sweet Stan take on the Rock and Roll Express of Ricky and Robert. Now, these two teams our former World and United States Tag Team Champions. It was the Rock and Roll Express who defeated the Midnight Express for the U.S. Tag Team Championship at Clash of the Champions Guts and Glory just a few short weeks ago. The opening week of the Great American Bash in, I believe, it was New Orleans, the Freebirds defeated the Rock and Roll Express for the United States Tag Team Championship. So, world and U.S. title implications are involved in this matchup. And the fans here in Philadelphia rise to their feet. It depends on what town the Midnight Express goes to. They are loved by some and hated by some. And Philadelphia happens to love the Midnight Express, the beautiful Bobby and Sweet Stan. Now you'll notice Jim Cornette is not allowed at ringside. For steel cage rules, managers are barred from ringside. So it will be interesting to see how Bobby and Stan respond to not having their not only their manager, but their mouthpiece at ringside. And the fans here in Philly showing their appreciation to the Midnight Express. And let's see what kind of reaction their opponents get. And here they come, making their way to the ring. Ricky and Robert, the Rock and Roll Express. And there they are. Ricky on the left, Robert on the right. And fans, this ought to be a good one. And the cage lowers here in the Civic Center in Philadelphia. And all four men in the ring at once. The only way to win this match is to climb out of the cage. No pinfalls, no disqualification. And the Rock and Roll Express both going to the top and second turnbuckles while Bobby and Stan get back to their feet. And a beautiful fist and a shoulder block by Gibson. And the Rock and Roll Express working over the Midnight Express. Now Morton working over the leg of beautiful Bobby. And Robert Gibson starting to climb. He's halfway to the top and Stan Lane climbing up behind him. And trying to throw Gibson down and does. And Morton working the leg of beautiful Bobby. Now Lane in control, picks up Gibson, puts him over his shoulders, and Morton with an atomic drop on beautiful Bobby. 
and inadvertently, Bobby fell into Gibson, who knocked out of Stan Lane's shoulders. Now Gibson working over the leg of Eaton. Russian leg sweep by Morton on Eaton. And Gibson stomping away on Lane. Now Ricky Morton trying to climb out of the cage. Beautiful Bobby getting back to his feet. Will he have enough time? Morton's up near the top. And Morton's going to go up and over. And Morton is down on the ground. And that only leaves Robert Gibson left. Now Eaton pulls Gibson down. Eaton climbs the top rope in a big forearm smash to the head. And Eaton working over Robert Gibson. Gibson thrown into a shoulder block by Stan Lane. Now Gibson whips Eaton face first into the chest. Setting up Bobby Eaton on the top turnbuckle lane, posing to the fans. Better pay attention to his tag team partner, who's dropped down off the second turnbuckle. And now Lane fires away with a double axe handle, drops an elbow on the back of Gibson. It's two on one. One of the advantages of not being the first member of your team out of the cage is that you can now double team the other opponent. Inverted atomic drop a second time, and Gibson goes down. Lane picks up Gibson by the head. Kicked in the midsection. Setting him up a butterfly suplex up and over goes Gibson. And the Midnight Express in control. Bobby is looking to climb. Stan Lane looking to climb. And both members of the Midnight Express looking to climb out of the cage. Gibson's back to his feet. Aiden's going to make it out. Lane is going to make it out. And the Midnight Express have won the steel cage match. Both members are down. And wow, what a benefit of not having the first member of your team out of the cage. The Midnight Express pay off by having both members in the cage able to double team Robert Gibson. Oh, fans. I'm in shock here because Ricky Morton thought he was doing the right thing by climbing out when he did. And it proved to be the wrong decision. And there are your winners, fans, the Midnight Express. Our main event is next. The NWA world title on the line as Ricky the Dragon Steamboat defends against Nature Boy Ric Flair. And that match is also in the steel cage. Fans, we'll be right back after this quick timeout. Philadelphia, the Civic Center, the steel cage is staying set as the NWA World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as Ricky the Dragon Steamboat defends against Nature Boy Ric Flair, J.J. Dillon not at ringside for Ric Flair. Now, should Ric Flair defeat Ricky Steamboat tonight? Of course, the match is signed for Baltimore regardless of who the NWA World Champion is. So should Ric Flair defeat Ricky Steamboat tonight? then Ricky Steamboat will get his rematch next week in Baltimore at the Great American Bash pay-per-view. And here he is, fans, the challenger of the evening, making his way to the ring, weighing 242 pounds from Charlotte, North Carolina, the former World Heavyweight Champion, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. And the fans here in Philadelphia standing and showing their respect to the Nature Boy. The multiple time former world champion makes his way into the ring with that steel cage looming above. And Ric Flair having odds in recent weeks with James J. Dillon. It all started back in New Orleans when JJ prevented him from getting back in the ring, thus losing a chance to regain the World Heavyweight Championship. And here he comes, the World Heavyweight Champion from Honolulu, Hawaii, 
weighing 239 pounds, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And the fans here in Philadelphia showing their appreciation to the new champion. He won that championship at Russell Ward, but made his return to the NWA just in this arena in Philadelphia. When Ric Flair defeated Nikita Koloff and Ricky Steamboat made his way to the ring. And security and multiple referees had to break them apart. And Ricky Steamboat returns to Philadelphia, this time with the 10 pounds of gold around his waist. And that is what it's all about, the World Heavyweight Championship. And the cage is lowering. And fans, here we go. These two starting out, they know each other so well. And Flair with a punch to the stomach. Now working over Steamboat and then he left, takes Steamboat down. Flair goes for the cover and gets a one and that's it. So a pinfall, submission or climbing over the top rope is the only way to win this match. And Flair follows Dragon in the corner with a clothesline. And Flair woos it up to the fans here in Philadelphia. Now Flair has Steamboat. Underarm suplex, up and over goes Steamboat. And Steamboat holding his back. Flair going for inside cradle. This could be it. One. Two, and a kick out of two. And Flair whips Steamboat into the ropes. Oh, and a shoulder block by Steamboat. Flair gaining control again with an underarm suplex. Up and over goes Steamboat. And a double axe handle to the side of the head. And Steamboat is in a world of trouble. Now Flair has Steamboat into the ropes. And a beautiful hip toss by the Nature Boy, who is strutting right by the world champion. Flair picks up Steamboat. Into the ropes. Oh, and a stalemate by Steamboat. Steamboat now has Flair. And a beautiful belly to back suplex takes Flair up and down. Now Steamboat working over Flair. Going for a snapmare, but Flair shoves him off in a shoulder block. Takes Steamboat down. Flair has Steamboat into the ropes and another stalemate and a beautiful arm drag by Steamboat with a charging Flair. Now a knee to the back, Steamboat gaining control, working the arm of the Nature Boy. And now Flair in trouble, picked up and again shows Steamboat up, going off for a, an arm drag with Steamboat into the turnbuckle. And now Flair chopping the dragon, and the dragon goes down. Flair climbing the second turnbuckle, and misses the elbow. And this might give Steve a chance he needs to recover. Flair, however, back to his feet first. Steve follows suit, and a chop by Flair. A second chop by Flair takes Steve down. And Flair falls flat on his face. Both men down. Steamboat makes it to his feet first. Picks up Flair, working the arm now. And Flair with a reversal. Whoops, Steamboat again into the ropes, into the turnbuckle, double axe handle to the back. And now Flair picks up Steamboat. And the Snake Eyes takes Steamboat down. Oh, and a close line in the corner. Flair takes Steamboat down. Flair has Steamboat. Going for a chop, but Steamboat reverses it with a right hand of his own. And a kick to the midsection by Flair. And a big right hand by Flair sends Steamboat into the corner. Flair whips Steamboat across the ring and follows suit with a close line. Could Flair be setting him up? He's allowing Steamboat to get back to his feet. Picks up Steamboat. He's going for the figure four. This could be it. Flair has Steamboat locked in the figure four. 
and is Steamboat gonna tap? Steamboat trying to make it to the ropes. Is Steamboat gonna tap? Steamboat funding it for everything he can. Steamboat trying to roll over, trying to get out. Flair really locking it in. Can Steamboat get out? He's fighting it. And Flair's really trying to cinch it in. And Steamboat able to turn it over and he does. He reverses it. And Flair back to his feet first. Snapmare takeover by Steamboat. Steamboat's wobbly on that left leg. Now Steamboat working the neck of Flair. Throws Flair to the mat, stopping away now on Flair. And now Steamboat going for a submission. And Flair trying to get out, and he does. Reverses it. Into the ropes goes Steamboat. Flair putting Steamboat up to the top rope. He's following him up. Could have Billy Bell in the back off the second turnbuckle it is. Up and over. And Flair starting to climb. Flair trying to climb out of the cage. And Steamboat making it back to his feet. Flair trying to escape. But Steamboat making it up top. Going after Flair. He has Flair. Flair trying to climb out and he drags him down. Flair could not get his leg over the top rope. Steamboat in control. Picks up Flair. Has him. And the double arm chicken went down. Steamboat now trying to climb out. Going to the top, top rope. Oh, and Flair rolled over. Steamboat now stopping the whale Flair and working the neck of the Nature Boy. Flair was so close to escaping the cage, he could not swing his left leg over the top. And now Steamboat trying to grab some air. Flair knocks away. Chop. And another chop takes Steamboat down. Flair again going for the figure four. He has it locked in. And there it is. It is locked in. And Steamboat again trying to fight it. Flair really wrenching down. Steamboat trying to turn it over. Trying to turn it over. And Steamboat punches his way out. Oh, and a big right hand, and Flair's in trouble. Steamboat's left leg again buckling. Steamboat with a neck breaker on Flair. What a back and forth contest, and now Steamboat trying to climb out of the cage. Flair slow to get back to his feet. Trying to go after Steamboat. And wait a second, Steamboat's going to get out. Steamboat escapes the cage, and he's still the World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, fans, what a back and forth contest. Flair was so close to regaining the World Championship. He just could not swing his leg over the top of the cage. And Steamboat having a much better time of climbing out. Here are some replays from earlier in the contest. Owen oh, Flair, so close to regaining the World Heavyweight Championship. And Steamboat, there it is, easily swinging his leg over the top. Flair could not do it. And Steamboat, ah, I just saw that now. Steamboat kicked Flair off when he was coming down. Oh, fans. Your winner and still NWA World Champion, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. The Great American Bass Tour is coming to its conclusion. We will see you next week, this weekend, Sunday, in Baltimore, Maryland, for the pay-per-view. It will be Ric Flair, Ricky Steamboat, two out of three falls, 
it will be Lex Luger defending the U.S. title against Barry Windham. The World Tag Team titles, Blanchard and Anderson versus Sting and Akita, plus much, much more. Fans, we will see you in Baltimore for the pay-per-view. Good night, everybody.